a, it's a crazy time. So fortunately for me, um, I'm, I'm originally from New York, but I relocated uh, to Texas. I'm about an hour and a half west of Austin and Fredericksburg. Uh, and we've, dandled, we've handled with the pandemic a little differently. Um, we went into a shutdown, you know, back in March, like y'all, but we, we opened up pretty quick. We were one of the first states to reopen. Um, so during the, the quarantine, you know, our gyms here shut down for probably a month or two. Uh, but then we reopened. So, you know, during the shutdown, um, I had a, a friend, fortunately, in the area that had a home gym. So I was able to work out, you know, at his home gym um, during that that period. But luckily for us, like I said, we were only, you know, closed for a month and a half, maybe two months max, which was which was nice That's as far as the fitness world goes. A lot of push-ups. A buddy of mine introduced me to to five sets of forty. And if you can get five sets of 40 in for five days straight, that's a thousand push-ups a week, right? And that's, that's, that's a lot of push-ups. I feel like that kind of help, helps with the, um, you know, doing the bench, doing all that stuff, keeping yourself in shape. Um, but push-ups are core too, so that helps. Mountain climbers, different variations of mountain climbers. That and then walking a ton. Yeah, I started exercising in 2017, June. I decided uh, it's going to be my daily routine, like brushing my teeth and uh, six days a week. Uh, so when COVID came around, I quickly purchased a uh, uh, Bowflex dumbbell ah, for the house uh, from five pounds to 52 pounds, like those adjustable ones. Yeah. And then I uh, Googled, I found an X3 bar. If, if, if you Google x3.com, mm -hmm. uh, it's basically a resistance uh, bar with um, three different or four different types of uh, resistant bands, uh, a plate that you could stand on so you could do any push or pull movement. Uh, and then I and then I went on Amazon and I bought for like about 50 bucks uh, some singular uh, bands uh, with hooks that you could do a little bit more with. No, I didn't. Um, okay. I bought a bike actually uh, two years ago, um, a road bike, a bicycle um, that I didn't really use much. Um, but then I actually did. I started biking um, when this happened. Um, and I was always a runner. So I, um, I stayed active. I would bike a lot. Uh, it was, you know, March, April, May are just beautiful times of the year here where I'm at in the hill country. This. <laughs> <laughs> did you i didn't no <laughs> you didn't uh, you know what i think everybody's in denial i told myself i didn't um, I, I, I can stick to my truth but may uh in, uh, in bc in canada uh the government let everybody kind of uh, for mother's day go to the park so we went to the park my whole family went to the park and uh we're playing we're very active so we're playing volleyball and i take my shirt off and my mom she's very eastern european she's like Vitali. Did, did, uh -oh. your, did your gym close during the quarantine <laughs> i'm like uh yeah it did and she's like oh i could tell oh. that's a great question uh after a workout i will take um i will take a protein shake i'm not promoting it or anything but i've tried a few uh it's uh kaizen natural mm -hmm. uh a new zealand protein whey protein Tastes that's a nice big one flavor mm -hmm. really really good so mm -hmm. i i do take a a cup of uh protein um every morning after every workout after every workout oh, okay I, i'm unique probably to anyone that you will talk to i i work out so i can eat and have fun and and, and live my lifestyle the way i want to live um so I, I mean every once in a while occasionally i'll do a protein shake in the morning i I use, you know, a scoop of protein powder, um, frozen strawberries usually, and then I put um, actually raw oatmeal in it to give it like some texture and some substance to it. Um, but typically, no, I mean, you know, maybe three times a week, I'll, I'll, I'll do a protein shake, but that's it uh, for my, for my kind of supplements and protein. Uh, first of all, I don't eat bre uh, breakfast. I intermittent fast. So oh, okay. um, I started that about uh, in 2017 as well. So uh, in the morning, I'll wake up, I'll have uh, 400 milliliters of water, uh, mm -hmm. and then I'll have a four ounce of coffee. 
just to get you know get a little punch in the in the caffeine morning. yeah Decaf? exactly no yeah only four only four ounces though i can't take more than four ounces in the morning <laughs> so you're um, bouncing off the walls that that's right um and then i'll taper off uh taper off with some teas you know mm -hmm. during the morning right around 12 o'clock i would have lunch uh, my lunch would consist of a bowl of salad okay. i have uh, multiple different types of salads uh but I load in some mixed nuts in there, mm -hmm. uh, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, Great. as well as a breast of chicken that I would okay. cut up and, and uh, I meal prep for the week. And then I just unpack it and cut it up. And, and then right around 12 o'clock, so that's my first meal, a really, mm -hmm. really hardcore meal. Right. Um, between 12 o'clock to 6 p.m. where I have dinner, I'll have uh like a mobile snack like two apples gal apples and uh -huh. and bananas and then by dinner time i'll basically eat uh as well a protein uh a protein either a chicken, chicken breast uh uh salmon or mm -hmm. a steak and then for a snack i'll have yeah. at the end i'll uh -huh. have seven cubes <laughs> to be precise <laughs> of chocolate 62 percent chocolate it kind of reminds me of the the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory ticket. Typical breakfast, I generally try to do oats, um, oatmeal, uh, both quick oats and both whole oats, uh, just variations of that. Um, some cereals when it's like time crunch, but cereals are almost like a cheat because there's so much different stuff put into them. So I like to do whole foods for the most part, like 90% of my diet's whole food, um, which allows me to eat more but allows me to consume less calories. I eat an apple, an apple is more filling than, let's say, a candy bar or protein bar or something like that. And yeah, so mornings, I'm a morning person, so I'm usually up by 6.37 and, and basically jumping right into work. So unfortunately, a lot of times I typically skip breakfast, which isn't good. Um, but uh, a lot of times, like I said, I'll, I'll do that shake and I'll, I'll get right into working. Um, and then with, with, you know, I'm a, I'm a real estate agent now. And so I'm out and about a lot. So most of my meals are, are on the road. Um, so it is definitely harder to eat healthy. Um, but my mentality is I, I try to, I try to sweat at least once a day. So, you know, I, I'm in the CrossFit gym four to five days a week. And then when I'm not, I try to either go for a run or a bike ride. Um, so I'm all about, you know, staying active and being, being able to eat what I want when I want um, and not worried about sticking to a strict diet or cutting out carbs or, or different things like that. I'm not a big snacker. Um, if I'm snacking, it's like pretzels maybe, but I, I really stay away. I stay away from snacking and maybe that's, maybe that's good, but I'm not, a, I'm really not a big snacker. I'll cycle through snacks and I'll kind of pilot things out. And, and when I find something really good, I'll run with it. But then, you know, you kind of get bored a little bit with it. So you want to switch it up. So right now I'm on uh, mini peppers. Do you know mini peppers? Mini peppers. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah they're, they look cute. <laughs> they're basically mini peppers. So they're snack size and I dip them in a chipotle hummus. There's the standard celery with uh, almond butter. Oh, okay. Okay. As a snack, right? Yeah, because I yeah. know I've heard celery with the peanut butter, but yeah. almond butter. Yeah, sure. That's right. Almond <laughs> butter is a little bit more healthier. Uh, for me, snacks all day long. Right? <laughs> so if you're still hungry, almonds, uh, almond butter, uh, peanut butter. Um, although I've heard peanut butter is not supposed to be great for dudes uh, to a certain mm -hmm. extent because of a prostate issue. Fruits and vegetables, like there's there's a thousand different types of apples. Generally, I try to stay with what with what's in season. I eat a lot of yams as well, uh, sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. If you haven't been in the gym in a while, don't go try to blow it out. You know, take a couple of exercises, do a couple of exercises, go home. Don't don't make it to where you're so sore the next day that you can't walk because that kills you from going back in there and doing it again yes. this whole deal is consistency if you can stay consistent with it you will see results you will see gains and you will see the opportunity of what your body can be probably be the best advice that i could give with trying to get in shape
I don't, I don't use motivation because motivation, it requires willpower. And the problem with willpower is you have to force yourself to do something, right? So I have like a framework on my calendar. I use it religiously. And so 5.30 in the morning, I'm up in the morning, I'm doing my heart development uh, for an hour. Uh, then, I'm, then I'm doing my head development for an hour, like studying. Um, and then I'm doing my health development. Uh, I'm in the gym. So there's no way if I follow my um, process, yeah. then I don't need willpower because that's, it, it's, it, I have it's, a framework, right? You do, exactly. You're very disciplined. Uh, it, it, that's right. It, and it builds a discipline. It's easier to get a discipline in and, and, and keeping it versus trying to do something new. So yeah. I, I cut, I throw motivation away. I, I throw, I put it to the side and I just create a streamlined process that makes it effective. A workout buddy, uh, really somebody to hold you accountable for uh, getting into the gym and staying active is the number one thing to get motivated. Um, I, I've been fortunate um, at the beginning of last year, I met a, a really good friend um, that's become a really good friend at the gym um, and we held each other accountable. So, you know, we work out together almost every day and when we're not, we're texting back and forth. Hey, what time are you working out? You know, what's your plan? Um, he holds me accountable. I hold him accountable uh, for those days that you just either don't want to get out of bed in the morning or we typically work out in the afternoon. So at, at 3 30, 4 o'clock, Hey, what's going on? Where are you at? You ready to go? and then we work out. P90X a while ago, um, I loved P90X. It was great at home workout, um, especially in the winters in New York when you didn't want to get out of your home. Um, I really I really did actually enjoy that and it was simple. I actually did do Insanity for a little bit. Uh, it was just too rough on my knees. It's so much jumping. I've never had knee issues before in my life. Um, and insanity was very uh, difficult on my knees. So, since I moved to Texas six years ago, I started CrossFit, um, very much enjoying it. You know, my mom is a phenomenal cook and being uh, 2000 miles away from her, that's probably one of the biggest things I miss about uh, New York. Um, I love to do like a beef stew. I'll wake up in the morning, especially if it's like a dreary day and I'll throw a bunch of stuff in the crock pot um, I'll go about my day and then I come home and, and it's and it's beef stew and I'm so excited to come home to, to eat. Absolutely, 100%. Because you work, if you work five days, six days a week, hitting the gym hard, um, yeah. it's hard not to like indulge in waffles one day or just the whole day you're just, you know, carbon up as long as it's not too late in the evening it's i feel like it's it, if you want to go cheat day and you want to go heavy cheat day heavy cheat day in the morning and that way you have time your body has time to work off most of that ish calories that's right. extra um instead of trying to cheat day at, at night <laughs> any addictive food i i have i have an addictive personality like um, yeah. I could get addicted to a lot of things. Like uh, I'll tell you right off the bat, Nutella. Oh, oh well, like, I know people get so addicted to that thing. That it's stuff is so addictive. I tried everything. Try to c combine it with a healthy food, uh, like some green apples. But it's just I could eat a whole bucket of it, <laughs> and it's just not good. Um, it's not even funny, right? I just stay away from addictive food. Like uh, chips is super addictive as well. Yes. Uh, I just stay away from them. Like you have a whole bag in an afternoon, full, right? Yeah, full stop. I'm pretty sure they put something in there so that you... They must. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from pork, 100%, just because of the nature of the beast. I don't need to do anything hydrogenated oil. Uh, I try to stay away from a lot of processed meats. I try to stay away from a lot of uh, processed foods. Again, I go back to whole foods in general. Whole foods will make you fuller faster. You can eat a half a head of lettuce if you need to, uh, but that's a whole half a head of lettuce. And, a, you know, it's like a massive amount of content that you're putting in your body. So that's going to fill you up faster than, you know, Absolutely. eight or 10 process this or that, right? Yeah. Whole foods, I'm a big proponent of whole foods. And, you know, again, it just it makes you feel better. It makes you think better. It makes you move better. For me personally, absolutely. So, you know, I've spent a lot of time in, 
and Los Angeles. I'm currently living in the Midwest right now. Um, but, you know, when I was uh, actively in a lot of classes and a lot of different stuff to where I was having to regurgitate a lot of lines, if I didn't eat enough carbs and if I knew I didn't eat enough carbs, I knew my performance wasn't going to be as good. So your ability to think clear quickly on your feet um, drops quickly when you don't have enough uh, you know, carbs to burn off in the brain. So it, is, it definitely affects me personally. Right now, it's probably about 80 to 90% vegetables and then 10 to 20% protein. Um, do I have any carbs maybe in the snacks? Obviously the chocolates, the, the, uh, the ice cream, you know, <laughs> that I do treat myself with uh, at times. Have to, okay. Um, yeah, absolutely. You can't just, yeah. So uh, that's about it. But at this point, uh, for the last three and a half years, um, I've basically went on that 90 to ninety to 80% vegetables and 10 to 20% protein. Mm -hmm. And I feel like 10 times better mental clarity, emotional clarity, physical mm -hmm. energy. Like, yeah, you seem very energetic. It's working. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's totally working. So you stay away from pastas and breads. I eat pasta once a year, to be honest. Um, and uh, like, it's typically at a restaurant. I'll be like, oh yeah, I have, like, but so I do, stay away. I do stay away from pasta and breads because they, it's, it's not, I don't do it because of the health reasons of like, oh, I, I don't want to gain weight, this and that. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's really about the only reason I eat healthy and I exercise and I do what's healthy for me because I love high energy.